I think it started in preschool. We started hearing from the preschool teachers that she wasn't getting her ABCs, that she, you know, She could hear them fine and repeat them, but she couldn't write it, read them and write them at all. At all, it wasn't no, even, she didn't wasn't recognize them. Then in the kindergarten, we, we heard the, she's not trying hard enough, you guys aren't pushing her hard enough. I mean, this is kindergarten. Come on, kindergarten's <laughs> supposed to be fun, right? And yeah, we saw at home a different side of Olivia because she was fun and playful and she could be that way with us. But in school, The reports we were terrified. getting was that she was withdrawn and she didn't care. And in first grade, it really, I think, it took me overboard in a conference where the teacher in front of Olivia said, she's lazy, she doesn't try hard. Gets distracted. She daydreams all day long, I'll be up at the board and she'll look off onto space. And, and personally, I didn't understand what was going on, and I thought, okay, Olivia, come on, we gotta get this, we gotta buckle, buckle down. And she said, basically, you've got to work harder with her. I mean, I remember seeing her when we were trying to teach her how to tell time on a digital clock, and we said, you know, what time is it? What, what's the first number you see? And she would literally walk up to the clock this far away and say, Eight, but she'd have to walk that close up. So I thought, okay, she's she's got a distance problem. That's the issue. So we went to the the um, eye specialist, um, Dr. Patel, and we <clears throat> had her do a check, and she gave us some some glasses, and we went a year with that, and nothing really really changed for her. When I went back that following year for a checkup with her, and she said her prescription's great. I said, no, it can't be. If something's not right. This is a very intelligent little girl, and here's what's happening at school. And she says, okay, this is what you need to do. I want you to look this up on website. It's called Convergence Insufficiency. Here's a website you can go to, and I want you to call Dr. Letter. We saw progression every single time she came here. It has built her self-confidence. And that's, I mean, she now knows that she can read. She now knows that she can do her math. Anything that she wants to do, she can do if she applies herself. I mean, you know, it really, it's not just the child that's affected although that is the most important part, it is the family structure that's affected because if you are struggling with a child that doesn't learn, that doesn't get it, that has so many things that they're not able to do like every normal child, you start to doubt yourself as a parent, right. you start to doubt yourself, and there starts to be a stress level amongst the family that is just, it's unbearable sometimes. And, I, I've, to, and I've told Dr. Letter this too, I think if Scott and I could both travel the country talking about this, it is that important because I think of those kids um, in, in, in every school that are struggling to find themselves and understand why they're not like the rest and why they can't get something and why are they so stupid, like Olivia used right. to say, um, that I would, I would do it in a heartbeat if I could.